In this video, we're going to go through the features of Vortex, or as we like to call it, Vortex 1, because uh, that helps us to distinguish it from its bigger brother, the Vortex 6. And let's start look at the panel first. So what do we have here? We have uh, a digital oscillator with internal waveforms that are based on wavetables. And wavetables means that each table have a lot of waveforms that you can scroll through. To go through the, the tables, we use this knob, which labels on the waveforms. And to actually go through the internal waveforms within each table, we're going to use the position. Let's plug in the audio out of Vortex into our system. And let's go through a table number 10. Let's hear the waves in it. Maybe we add some reverb so we can smooth the sound a little bit. The wavetables are built into the module, and the module comes with a, a set of them. But you can also download wavetables from the internet, there's a lot of them. Put them on an SD card, and by selecting that button, you can select if you want to load the tables from the internal memory or from the external. For example, this is a, something we just download from the web. <laughs> And if we go back to the tables in the module, and the tables in the modules are a bit different in that they are more continuous. There's quite a lot of them and there's a lot of depth in this module as far as timbers that can come out of it. Another feature of the module is the detune. So if we go and open up some waveform. Right now what we hear is just a single oscillator, but Vortex is actually a dual oscillator module. There's two of them, real hardware oscillators built into the module. And when we detune them, we can start here the detuning between the oscillator, the beating. It goes wider and wider. And at the end of the knob, what happens is that one of the oscillators is going to become a sub-octave. So let's hear how that happens. So now we have two oscillators. One of them is one octave below. Okay, now to get the thing playing, we're going to play uh, a sequence into octopus. We're gonna take art out from octopus into art in into the vortex. And we are listening to something playing. Take off the sub octave. And take off the detuning. We can use one of our ATX here as an LFO. 
and plug it in to a vibrato input. Get some vibrato effect. Without. With. Or we can take, let's say, this ATX, also an LFO. Let's put it at a very low speed. And we can scroll through the position, through the waves. Let's see what happens. Open up. Does this turn into antenna aider? So the LFO from the ATX1 opens up the position, scrolling through the waves. To a different bank. We can again apply detune. And in the same way, we could also modulate the tables themselves. So there's plenty of modulation inside this module. There's a gate out that is used to go again to either build a monophonic voice or a polyphonic voice or to just synchronize anything that you want to this oscillator. So this is Vortex One, an 8-bit PPG-like engine with true converters from the 80s built into this hardware and is a digital oscillator, art digital oscillator and it does not require any tuning at any point due to its uh, digital nature and that's it.